Hello traders, hello everyone and welcome to our new video analysis here on our YouTube channel um, where I will give you some of the fresh updates um, but before we go to the analysis make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to put on the notifications because we have each Monday Elliott Wave live session, the webinar where we cover some of the major markets and prepare um, some ideas for uh, for the week ahead. So make sure to put on the notification to subscribe to our channel and give us a like, leave us any comment, any questions uh, you may have. Okay, so uh, what's going on? Well, we are seeing US yields still turning to the downside. There is room for more weakness. We are seeing US dollar coming lower despite the Fed hiking the rates by 25 basis points. The reason is because market believes that Fed is done with the hiking cycle and that's because of this bank crisis also one of the reasons why um, Powell could be looking for stop the hiking cycle is because credit tightening is working in their favor right so with the higher rates what um, they want to achieve is that economic activity will slow down but if you have credit tightening well that's exactly what is going on because bank will have to be more responsible with their money and will think twice uh, about who they lend money to, right? So this should slow down the economic activity. And that's why maybe there is no need that Powell should raise rates further. However, um, Powell said that they are still looking to bring down the inflation towards 2% target. And if there will be a need for higher rates, they will do it. Okay, so um, of course, he don't want to, do not want to confirm that actually they are done with the hiking uh, cycle. But uh, based on what is going on, I'm sure that they will be much more careful than before. OK, so uh, it's not a surprise to see US dollar moving to the downside uh, with the US yields. Uh, at the same time, we have metals trading higher while stocks are somehow uh, sideways. Uh, so <clears throat> looking at uh, firstly at this uh, not exactly this we'll look at this um, overlay chart uh, you can actually see at the bottom okay we have the US notes and you can see that the US notes are trading higher for the last what almost two weeks okay and I'm just doing a comparison to other markets to other sets to see uh, which currency which pair is um, is one of the strongest which one is the weakest okay and you can see here that silver is clearly outperforming then you have gold okay so definitely there is a run to safety um, and then you have also Japanese yen doing very well and uh, then you have pound euro and knock okay I really like pound and knock because uh, I think that even crude oil is moving into the some support. So before we go um, to this, um, to this uh, some of the wave counts on those pairs, I want to look what the US notes are telling us. Okay, so if the US notes will continue to move to the upside in this current direction, then we can expect that this silver, gold, and other currencies that are correlated with this in positive correlations with notes will also continue to the upside. So here I have US notes and actually I will show you two wave counts. Now the first wave count shows that maybe we completed this five wave cycle up here and that's from the beginning of the March and then we have seen only a three waves to the downside we are headed higher. Okay the idea is the resumption of an uptrend because the market has stopped at the previous fourth wave swing supports, which is normally the case. So I think that we could see more upside here based on this wave structure and that sooner or later we could retest this Monday highs. Also, I have another wave count here, which shows that maybe this drop, which somehow can be also counted in five waves, but even so can be part of a flat correction waves one two extended wave three and then you have an abc flat correction what's really important is that even this one suggests that the 10-year us notes should rise further and if that's going to be the case then we know that us yields 
will continue to weaken. And looking at, at this price analysis and correlations, you can clearly see that US yields are turning to the downside after very deep uh, recovery here, but still it was an ABC movement. So further weakness here on the US yields, in my opinion, could cause more weakness on the US dollar. So that's when I think that um, pound knock, which are quite strong, could be very interesting. But before we go and cover knock, I really want to look at the crude oil because crude oil, as you know, has a very strong correlation with, with knock. So if crude oil will rise, knock commodity currencies like knock, cat, Mexican peso will tend to do very well. Okay, if crude oil will fall, maybe then those currencies could make a pullback. And looking here and give you, by the way, this fresh update from two weeks back, we actually been tracking this ABCDE triangle and um, predicted this drop into the wave five. By the way, this was the analysis here when we were looking for a break out of the triangle into the wave five towards close to $60 per barrel. Okay, uh, but we know that when we have a triangle and this move out of a triangle is then going to be the final lag within the higher degree structure. Okay, so why this is usually the case, not always, but usually is because market will try to slow down and to complete the higher degree sequence actually from a psychological perspective. Because when you have this choppy price action like this one, okay, what usually happens is that traders, speculators will try to trade within this range. Maybe some will even try to predict and trade the breakout, but breakout never, never occurs. And then finally, when they give up on a potential breakout, what you will notice is that they the market will actually really made a breakout and that's when a lot of traders will try to ride this potential new uh, new direction on the market which was to the downside but what actually happens is that that there if there is something overcrowded because everyone are now bearish on uh, energy prices on the crude oil after this breakdown well that's when we should be a uh, more careful because crude oil after all already made this move down for almost 20 percent so clearly the move is a little bit overextended and overcrowded a little bit pessimistic few here so in other words it means that market could potentially change its direction and ideally this could be to the upside because everyone thinks that this crude oil will just continue straight to the downside well in my opinion it could be time for a bounce okay and from an Elliott wave perspective also whenever you have these five waves down with the triangle in the wave four you can expect that wave five could potentially be moving into the support looking here at the four hour chart Notice that so far we are, this is by the way the May contract 2023, we have been testing this $71 per barrel, but I think that this level could actually be broken. It was the previous swing low, so clearly could stop the bulls a little bit here, but this rise on an intraday basis is looking impulsive. So I think that there can be more upside, so a break above 72, I think we'll call more gains probably next week. And if that's going to be the case, then we know that with lower US yields, you will have weak dollar, but with potentially strong crude oil, if it's really bottoming here, then you will have strong cat, strong knock. So I really want to look at dollar knock. And looking at dollar knock here, that's the wave count presented on a daily chart. Um, actually, potentially top formation could be in the cards here. Why? Because we have left shoulder, hat and the right shoulder and even this recovery somehow towards 78.6% is looking overlapping, right? It's been made by seven swings. So in my opinion, this could be a correction. More importantly, we are already seeing a broken trend line here, which may suggest that we have this swing top in place and that we could potentially see more weakness because after all this drop is looking impulsive on the intraday basis so with crude oil once again with crude oil potentially bottoming with yields keep moving lower based on those two wave counts on the us nodes that i showed you which suggest more upside i just think that door knock has potentially 
room for more weakness. I'm not predicting any major drop here, but at least towards this lower trendline support, uh, this could definitely be the case, especially if no will stay here or even lower by the end of the week. Okay, and of course, if crude oil will hold these lows as well by the end of the week. Okay, so NOC is definitely something to look for, especially when we have this crude oil moving into this support. Now, also, let's take a look on cable, since I mentioned cable. Well, notice that there was a very nice ABC formation. By the way, I've been tracking this flat quite closely over the last few weeks, if not months. And we've been looking for potential reversal here at these levels at 18, uh, 1, 1830 level. It was a very similar reaction and a failure breakdown, very similar to the failure breakout here back in uh, at the end of January when everyone was looking to the upside, market does the opposite. Here, everyone expected more weakness, market does the opposite. But now what we have, we are actually trading in the middle of this big range. But if you're just trying to ignore the wave counts and just focus on this, uh, sorry, I will have to do this like that. And if you just focus on the clear price action, yes, it's a range price action. But if the lower range holds the price, and causes a bounce, what would you expect? That market will continue towards the upper side of the range, right? So I still think that there is room for one to four, one to five level, potential, but potentially after a pullback. Now, from an Elliott wave perspective, what I'm looking at is that this could be, let me delete this, okay? Uh, that this could be actually a leading diagonal up from that lows, with five subways, either for wave one or wave A. So what we expect that market could potentially see more weakness after wave two or wave B pullback. I don't want to predict too far into the future what market will do here, but I clearly will expect at least one leg more to the upside, to the upper side of this range after this pullback. Now, very nice support could be at uh, 21, 80 and then you have definitely here at one at 1.2 level which is also psychological level so sometimes wave 2 wave b can be very deep and more complex that's if that's really going to be the case then this is the level to look for um, also you have this one uh, very important as well we had this two swing highs so clearly at uh, one 2140 is also one important level so we just have to wait be a little bit more patient here, wait on some price action here to potentially predict the next supports for this correction. Okay, so as long as the market is trading above these lows, I definitely will look any kind of a retracement in free waves as a correction within uptrend. Okay, now finally, let's take a look on gold. So gold is breaking to the upside. Uh, we've been looking for this correction. It was a very sharp one. Uh, in I must admit, not easy to predict a potential resumption higher. However, when I look at this daily chart, you can clearly see a very nice support here back from July levels, swing highs that reacted as a support here few weeks back. Now it looks like that this is a very strong recovery. So I would not be surprised and if at some point we finally break to new all-time highs. Looking at the four hour chart, we it appears we already finished and completed this wave four retracement. So more upside clearly could be in the cards here for wave five. Um, I think that there is room for 50 bucks or 60 above 2000 level. So it means that we could potentially move quite close to these all time highs. Okay, so we will see uh, how it will unfold, but this definitely looks like a very nice and attractive bounce here. So after maybe short term setbacks, there can be more gains coming. However, this gold is a little bit overextended for my taste. So I definitely uh, have more interest on pound if we see this pullback and definitely on knock, especially if crude oil will try to stay in this in this current intraday uh, bullish phase. Of course, I have to see weekly close price somewhere around here or maybe even better, even higher. Okay. Traders, thank you very much for your attention. If you love this analysis, please make sure to 
press a like, subscribe to our channel to make uh, to make sure you will be notified when new videos will be uploaded. And also, if you're interested in more premium analysis, uh, check our services, wavetraders.com. And we have the 14-day trial available to new members on a monthly membership. Traders, enjoy your day. Bye.